So how do I get out of this cycle of addiction? A question that many people ask. To get out of this cycle of addiction, a lot of us, including me in the past, we've all targeted the addiction. And we're thinking that this is the only one thing that I need to change in my life. And we've had numerous attempts of trying to kick this habit of addiction. And a lot of the times we are successful. And when I mean successful, I mean we can stop it for a certain period of time. But then we can't consistently stay clean for a long time. Am I correct in what I'm saying? We've all stopped, but we all can't stay stopped. Now to stay stopped, if you've noticed, that it's the mental health that kicks in once the addiction has been stopped. So when we put a stop on it and we think, okay, you know, I've put everything, I've set it everything around me, I'm doing good, I'm not gonna take any more drugs, no more for me, good. Then our mental health kicks in. We can't seem to live within our own skin, whether it's anxiety again, whether it's a trauma, depression, or past, we can't live in our own skin. When we can't live in our own skin, one day will go by, two days will go by, three days will go by. You'll be counting these days thinking, yes, one day I'll feel better, I'll be all right with it. But how are you going to feel better? Because you're not taking the drug or the substance or the alcohol anymore. So if you're not taking that anymore, what are you doing to make yourself feel better mentally? This is where you have to take on board now, not the addiction anymore. Addiction is gone. The first setup, one, two, three days, okay, cool. After that, you need to stop thinking about the addiction. The addiction ain't the problem anymore. The mental health is the problem. So it's the mental health now that we need to take control of. And how are we now gonna feel happy or get that excitement, that euphoric effect that we used to get with the drug that would help us with our depression or with our anxiety? How would we get that now? And the only way to get that is to find ways in how we can be happier or find excitement within our lives. So doesn't it make sense? If we can feel happier and relaxed without the substance, then there'll be no need for the substance. But whereas we just think that we don't need the substance, we try and get the addiction out the way, but it's not the addiction that's the problem. It's us or me or you trying to wanting to feel more relaxed or trying to wanting to feel more happier. So to cut the habit there and make sure we can do that without the substance then there is no need for it at all so it's a two-step process focus on the addiction straight after focus on the mental health don't consistently just keep focusing on the addiction and think that's it that's my only problem the addiction has been developed because of the mental health addiction would need to be worked on initially after that go straight onto the mental health without any gap it needs to go directly straight there Maybe there needs to be a plan, like how you've planned the addiction, how you're going to stop that, how you're going to stay away from it. Same way with the mental health. Triggers that you looked into, triggers again with mental health as well that you can look into. How are you going to keep that going? Because I'll tell you a quick personal story of mine, trying to stop smoking, did about a good three years on it, got angry, had a little argument, couldn't handle my mental health, went straight back onto smoking. Didn't think about it that hold up. It's my mental health that I need to think about. I've stopped cigarettes three months ago. Why am I still thinking that I don't want to smoke, I don't want to smoke, I don't want to smoke? That's gone, mate. That's gone right out the window. It's the mental health. Put the mental health in in in, in check. Figure out what you're gonna do if you do get angry, how you're gonna handle it, how you're gonna calm yourself down without using a substance. Cigarettes in my case, that was a couple of years ago now. But yeah. Yeah, so the addiction isn't a long process, okay? Anybody can stop. And I'm sure you've done it loads of times. I've done it a lot of times. So when you do stop, what becomes a lengthy process is your mental health. It's not a quick fix where, you know, you can wake up tomorrow and say, I'm not gonna use any substance and you will do it, but it won't last for long. But with your mental health, you can't wake up tomorrow and think, oh, you know what? I'm gonna feel perfect. My mental health is gonna be, you know, on, on 10 out of 10. You can't do that. You know, it takes a bit of time. It takes things that you need to put in place, do things, uh, work out things, maybe a lot of thinking, changing like CBT, changing your thinking patterns, maybe a lot of sharing, trauma release, emotional releases. These kind of things you need to consistently do, maybe for a long period of time, maybe forever, I still do it. So 
these things you want to be able to wake up next morning and do it but you have to continue to do it you have to start getting in to figure out and how you can improve your mental health not the addiction not not how you can stop the addiction anybody can stop that and there is a lot of help there for addiction and for your mental health but remember this one thing always do it straight after you stop the addiction don't wait don't think that let me just keep focusing on my addiction once that's out the way once i get clean for about three months one year two years then i'll think about my mental health no get straight onto your mental health as soon as you've stopped your addiction even if you need to make a plan before you stop the addiction make it make it with the addiction addiction mental health still after and then mental health continuously maybe throughout your whole life if you need, if need being